It's been 35 years since Lois Hanna and Lisa Moss were last seen alive. A volunteer search group is now looking for help as they plan to search for clues in the three decade old disappearance. Here's CTV Scott Miller with more. Lois Hanna and Lisa Moss never met, but they are linked together forever. The two Midwestern Ontario natives both went missing in July of 1988 under suspicious circumstances. 35 years later, Nick Oldry and his team of volunteer searchers and citizen sleuths from Please Bring Me Home are heading back into the wilderness in search of clues into their disappearance. With Lois and Lisa specifically at this time, with it being 35 years later, we're looking for scattered remains. We're looking for clothing. Um, you know, in, in both of those cases, that's really the only evidence we have to go on. Since 2016, Please Bring Me Home has organized more than 30 searches for both Moss and Hannah as they try and bring closure to the families of both missing women. While they have found clues in those searches, they've not located either of them as of yet. Even by not locating them, that is still evidence that we add to the pile, right? Okay, we can say with certainty they are not in this location. Uh, and it, it narrows down the search area each time, right? On July 2nd, volunteer searchers will be combing an area near Holyrood for Lois Hanna. And on July 16th, Old Reeve is looking for a lot of volunteers to cover six locations near Owen Sound in search of Lisa Moss. That one we need a lot of volunteers for. We want at minimum 115 people. Old Reeve says he's always amazed how many people come out to help look for people they don't know or have no connection to especially 35 years after the fact. And we put uh, a message out looking for strangers to come and search for a stranger. And it's just, it's incredible the, the turnout for these missing people. That I love sharing with the families. While the OPP are not actively conducting searches for Moss or Hannah, they say both cold cases are still being actively investigated. A $50,000 reward for information leading to their location is active in both cases. In Midwestern Ontario, Scott Miller, CTV News.